Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and how does free stuff sound? I know you guys always love free stuff, and today I've got a lot of free stuff for you. I'm talking like 850,000 free 3D models, and if you want to grab them, it's very simple. All you have to do is enter the Objaverse. Now, I'm not really keen on that name, uh, but it is available at... Objaverse, so that's O-B-J-A-V-E-R-S dot Allen A-I dot org. Now, that Allen A-I is the Paul Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence. We'll get back to that in just a minute. If the name Paul Allen doesn't ring a bell to you, he was the co-founder of Microsoft that wasn't named Bill Gates. Uh, he is a billionaire, and one of the ways he wants to spend his money is on artificial intelligence projects, and that led us to the Objaverse. Now, us as game developers, we don't really care what this is for, but this is ultimately for training AI. Uh, it's a bunch of recognizable 3D module models, I think scraped from a variety of sources on the web, put together and correlated in one spot. So you see here, there is now a search engine for it, which is definitely an improvement from earlier on. And you can see here, you got a ton of 3D models available. Um, and you can see here who created them. Uh, there's ratings for them, votes and so on. Uh, and yeah, so let's say you came in here, you were looking for a horse, of course. So let's check out how many horses we have. Now, this is a, oh no, I guess that is a horse. All right, uh, there are 24,934 horses found. Now, some of these are gonna be uh, 3D point scans. Some of these aren't gonna make any sense because this is a horseback sea cave, for example. These are horses on scanned plates, uh, but you're going to find an absolute ton of content here. So let's say if I needed a fighter jet. So let's do a jet. We'll start with that. Uh, and here you're getting a variety. Again, their search engine could definitely use a little bit of refinement in terms of what it prioritizes. But here you see jet engines, uh, jets, some very low polygon, some of them uh, quite detailed and textured and ready to go. Uh, anything that you want to work with, you basically just pick that object right there. You can drill into it. You get details of it over here. So you can see the license of it. You can see the uh, vertex, vertex count, face count, and so on, uh, the size of it, etc. And yeah, that is kind of the idea. You can see this one is ultimately hosted on Sketchfab. You can view it there if you wish. Uh, and these are scraping models from a huge number of sources all in one interface. So this is uh, also making the models available in GLB format. Uh, you see here they're organized down into categories here as well. So you can also have subcategories of what we searched for. At least I believe that is how that works. So this is three projectile weapons under the word jet. So these things are classified so that for AI machine learning, they can learn what 3D objects are. So there's a lot more metadata put together with this scraping. So if you're just interested in fighter jets, for example, uh, drill down here and you can find a plethora of them. Some of them, again, really high detail, really high quality, and some of them very low poly and kind of meh. Uh, so you can see here, you can also sort by the license. Everything here is under the Creative Commons. Some of those Creative Commons buy, uh, non-commercial. So again, any of these NCs you're not going to use commercially. Uh, essay, and I, I don't remember the exact meaning of those particular versions of the Creative Commons license. So do make sure that the jet you picked or that the object you picked is you know compliant. So let's pick another one. Let's see what they've got for anime. So oh, let's get rid of this filter here. So that's an anime jet. Anime, we have 51,242 results, which is impressive. Now, I wonder if we get into copyrighted terms. So got, for example, like a Gundam. Yep, we have 913 entries in Gundam. So again, if you are looking for 3D models, wow, is this a huge resource of them. Now, okay, so that is uh, the Objaverse, uh, and then it is also available uh, as a data set on Hugging Face. Uh, so if you want to drill into the data sets, evaluate the model, do queries against it, and so on. Uh, this is a massive data set with 800,000 plus objects. So if you want to code into these things, you can do so. The, it is available. The data model is hosted on Hugging Face, as you can see here, although this isn't really encouraging. Um, so yeah, so a giant data model, a bunch of 3D objects that you can work with. Again, it was designed and, and intended for teaching computers how to, you know, learn what 3D objects are. Uh, but screw that. We can also use these in video games. So if you are looking for a just gigantic collection of models in one spot, they are here. And again, you saw the one was linked off SketchUp, for example. These are from a variety of different locations. In terms of breakdown by license, you're going to see that uh, 7,201,000 ,001, of these. So the vast majority are the CC by Creative Commons by license, you're going to want to make sure that you oblige uh, or abide by the rules of it. Uh, but it's uh, generally a very permissive license in terms of what you can do, although you will have to give uh, credit 
uh, in that uh, that aspect. So you will have to um, you know put it in your credits or put it somewhere. So keep track that you are using someone's work in this particular case. So whichever one you use, make sure that you are aware of the license that it is under. But everything here is Creative Commons, and the only ones you're going to want to be aware of realistically are these two because those are both non-commercial licenses. Um, and again, giant database of objects. And the other thing you're going to find, and if you really want to drill through here, there's a whole bunch of these. So this is the data sets itself. So you can see here all these GLB folders, and there's there, there's like 5,000 plus of these. Each one of these is 3D models. So if you come in here, drill into it, you're going to see this is actually one of the 3D models in the scene. So the, the raw GLBs are actually available inside of this data set. Now, another thing you're going to see, and you're going to see this quite a bit, since this is all made available, you're going to see pop-ups like this kind of site, Asset OV. This is obviously hooking into the data set for, um, from this. So the, uh, the Objectverse data set, you're going to see, because it's completely exposed, you're going to see all kinds of sites that pop up and use it. Now, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, they can do a good job of it, potentially, and make a better user interface, more exciting. You may want to just work with this. But this huge data set is going to make all of these things available for us. Um, and... Okay, so that one is a free model pulled off the UD asset store in this particular case. So this has a little bit more, so it's ironic that the first one I searched was actually uh, not directly from that data source. But what is a little spooky is they do not preserve the license. I saw Kenny pointed this out earlier on. Uh, if this is your site, uh, you definitely want to make sure that the uh, actual license that these models are under are displayed as part of it. Now, this thing does have some nice features in that it's got uh, showing only animated. So Asset OV is another option. It's going to obviously use the same data set and a couple of others, because I think Asset OV says that it's got something like a million objects as opposed to 850,000. So it's pulling 150,000 from other sources, such as what you saw there, the Unity Asset Store. Again, my complaint with this one uh, is that you're not actually seeing the license for the assets. And that's that's a little tricky um, and, and something that should be rectified. So uh, it, and then again, this one, I keep getting Unity assets. So uh, let's try and get something that's not from Unity. All right, pick this one. Author, yeah, so here, this is off Sketchfab. Uh, that is the source for it, which again, that is probably going to be coming back from the Objectverse sources here. Uh, but it is not listing the license here. It does have the author and the original person's name here, but it does not actually contribute, doesn't show the ongoing license here. And that is a bit of a no-no. So if you're interested, the person who put this giant data set together, so they didn't create the models. They basically just organized it into a data set and made it available for us in this handy form. And that API, again, is going to lead to a number of people creating stuff like this, the asset OV, uh, but the people behind this were the Allen Institute for AI, AI for the common good. This was Paul Allen's thing, and they just introduced the Objectverse. So if you want to learn more about why they did this, uh, there is a TechCrunch article. I don't really care why they did it. I just care that it is a single resource for like 850,000 plus 3D models uh, under the Creative Commons license. Again, 750,000 of those you can definitely use in your own project. You just have to give attribution in it. Uh, and then keep in mind, again, we do have this asset OV built on top of it, which is kind of a clean, cleaner, more polished interface, which goes to even more sources than uh, just the Objectverse sources. It's just, unfortunately, they're not necessarily preserving the license, making these a little bit trickier to use legally in your game. So hopefully uh, the asset OV guys fix that. And we're going to see more sites like this pop up in the future because that is the exact kind of thing uh, that this is going to facilitate with the Objectverse. So uh, that is it, ladies and gentlemen, a 800,000 plus objects or uh, with the asset OV over 1 million 3D objects all in one single spot. Again, these are things that you probably had access to before. You just had a lesser experience in searching for them and finding them, correlating them and so on. So definitely a neat thing. And if you want to incorporate this kind of thing into your own engine, uh, the APIs should make that doable. So you could make an object browser for something like... Um, say the Godot engine that plugs in and using this functionality as well, which is kind of a cool thing for the future. So let me know what you think of the Objectverse, and I shall talk to you all later. Goodbye.